Hi, I'm Justin. Looks like you want a really cool off-canvas menu for your WordPress site. In this video my friend Walter is going to show you how you can create this using Elementor Pro and its built-in pop-up feature. By the way, in case you don't know, Elementor is one of the best page builders and easiest to use for WordPress. Any changes made in Elementor are shown as you make them, so this will make editing much easier. At the end of this video I will also be providing you a free access code to my paid internet marketing membership club. So make sure to listen for the code and instructions at the end. Okay, so without further delay, take it away Walter. In this video we're going to show you how to make an off canvas menu using the built in pop up feature from Elementor Pro. Let's show you an example of what one would look like. So let's pretend this is your header, and we have these bars over here, and then we have this menu popping up from the left hand side. So that's basically what the off canvas menu will look like. So let's go ahead and just dive right into it. Go to templates, pop ups, add new. We're going to call this off canvas, create template. Once we are on the section, we can use one of these templates that Elementor has kindly given us and we can modify it a little bit. As you can see, they have these side ones over here is the ones we're going to want to look at for something along those lines or, or something like this one. But basically, let's go ahead and build it ourselves. Let's adjust our layout. So we want the height to be fit to screen. We want it as tall as possible. The content position, we're gonna leave at the top. If we choose center, it'll be there. Choose bottom, it'll be down at the bottom. The position, we're gonna make this to the right. And then vertical, we're going to leave this. It doesn't really matter for these because it's a full height width uh, for the off canvas menu. The overlay, we can leave the overlay on or we can turn it off, whichever you prefer. Sometimes a lot of people leave it on with a minimal overlay, but a lot of people uh, sometimes will leave it off just because they don't want to obstruct the rest of the content. We have the close button, which if you're going to be using an on off canvas and it's going to be hiding the button that you're going to be using to toggle it on and off, then you're most likely going to want to have a close button. Under the general settings, we have these. The preview settings, we won't need any of this. Let's go to style. So we have the background type right here. What we want to do is you can set this to be any color you want. Let's choose black. You have image options, border types, things of the, that nature. Go to the close button and we can choose the vertical position and the horizontal position, but for right now we're just going to change the color of it. And we're going to increase the size tremendously. Alrighty. Underneath the settings, like I said, we've already got all of that taken care of. So right now we're going to adjust the width of it. And this width is going to be determined on how much content you want if you want it to be uh, content heavy you might want to have it a little bit wider or if you want to have um, just a minimal menu in your logo you can change it to a little bit of a smaller off canvas width let's go ahead and add some items so i want to do i want to do an image and we could pick an image up here if we want to have any of these. We can choose this one right here or one of these. Let's go ahead and choose one of these. Let's do this one. And I'm going to make the background of this white just so it can stand out some. Change the width of this. 
And then let's go ahead and add some navigation. We're going to search for nav and click and drag the nav over here. Make this a vertical layout. We're going to leave it there or we can have it centered like such. We can change the pointer. So when we hover over top of this, we have the underline. We want to get rid of that. And then we have just that right there. Uh, for the mobile drop down, we don't want to have the mobile, so we want to toggle the, t the toggle button off because we don't need that. Go over to the style and we can adjust the menu accordingly, however we need it to be. We have all of those different options here. Shrink that down some, taste text color, make that white. Change the font to a little bit of a something more sophisticated to match the website. Playfair. It's one of my favorite ones to go with. Uh, from there we want to maybe show people our social icons. So we'll go there. We will do the style, make that custom, make the secondary black, make the primary white. Maybe have the size a little bit down. And then we have all of those different options there. We can do left, center, or right aligned. We'll do left. We'll line it up with this menu. We'll go to the style for the menu. The horizontal padding will make that zero, so it goes over there to the left. And then we can have our sections here for when we hover over top of those. So we have this off canvas right here, but now we notice that our close button is hidden. So we need to go back to our settings for the pop-up. Go to the close button under style, and we're going to make this black again. Just because it all depends on what you have at the top. And we have that large white image at the top. So we need to go ahead and do that. And we're going to make this a little bit smaller. There. We're going to add a little bit of padding to the entire section itself. And of course, we have to go back and change our pop-up tag, our close tag again. All right, we've got that. So we have our nice off-canvas menu here. And what we can do now is we just hit publish. We don't need to worry about any of these settings right here. So just click save and close. Go back to the dashboard. We're going to view our home page. We're going to edit the, the header that we built with Elementor. And once we do that, we have the menu item over here that's going to trigger it. So once we, we click this and we want to edit this, we have this link. Now we want to click Dynamic. Go to the pop-up. And we're going to click Open Pop-up. Now you can do toggle pop-up, it won't really matter, so I'm just going to do that. And then we're going to type in off canvas, and it's going to appear there. Let's update, go to our dashboard, and then we'll sit, visit the page. And once we click, we have this right here. Now it's a little bit of a harsh entrance, so we want to get rid of that you know, harsh pop-up. Let's edit the off-canvas pop-up once more. And then we will do the entrance animation right here. Now we want this to fade in maybe left or fade in right. Let's do fade in right. So we do something along those lines so it's a little bit less harsh. Um, and then once we have that, it'll be a nice smooth transition when we're doing our pop-up. 
As we're on our home page, we have the view menu, and we have that option right there. All right, now we see we still have our overlay, so let's go ahead and take that off as well. Go up to our style. We have our overlay turned on. We have those options if we want to turn, take the overlay and bring it down to nothing. Save and close. Edit to the dashboard, home page view we have our menu right there let's see what this looks like on a regular site when you're not logged in so it doesn't have that admin bar there we go there is our office off canvas menu we could change the animations uh the animation speed as well so if we want it to be a little bit of a quicker pop in then how slow it is now. We'll go back to editing it. And we have the adjustment right here for the animation duration. Let's just make this half a second. Save and close. Go back here and we have a much quicker pop-in. And then of course you have all of your menu items here. We have our social icons here, and then of course our logo. You're more than welcome to put all your contact information here. Put a, put a map there. The sky's the limit on what you can put in there because whatever elements you have on your Elementor is what you can put in there. So we have that option to do all of this and adjust accordingly right there. And then maybe... Maybe a contact us button down there if you don't have one up here. Make it like a wide, a, a full width button over there. And then we hit save and close. Open this up. And then we have our menu right there. And it pops up right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And we will see you next time. Wow. That was easy. Now you know how to create a off-canvas menu with Elementor Pro. I have a link in the description below if you want to get the free or pro version of Elementor. You will need the pro version if you want to create the menu shown in the video. If you are just starting out and need hosting and a domain name, make sure to check out the link below for SiteGround Hosting. You will find they have very fast and reliable hosting for a great price. They also have a lot of very positive reviews, so that should mean they are doing something right. Also to get the free or pro version of Elementor, see the link in the description below. Finally, since you took the time to watch this video till the end, you can access some of my paid courses for free today. You just need to look for the link in the description that says, Free, Private, Access. Once you click on that link, you will see an access web page. All you need to do to gain free access to the private membership club is type in 7, 6, 5, 4. You can then join my internet marketing membership club for free. I also listed some other very useful information below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and don't forget to like and click the notification bell to get updates. I should also mention that I have a video on using Elementor with WordPress. So look for it in the links below so you can get started fast. Okay, until next time, take care.